Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing, and in this gear review, we are going to be taking a deep dive into this right here. This is the Snowby Prestige GXS 5 weight 9 foot fly rod. Let's get into it. All right, so as always, before we get started with this review, I have to mention that Snowbee did send us this rod to test and review, but in no way are we required to be positive about the rod, and this view is gonna remain honest and sincere no matter what happens, just like every other review on this channel. We always tell the manufacturers if they're sending us gear to review and test, it's not gonna change the outcome of our review or how our opinions are displayed on this channel. So getting that out of the way, let's get started with how I was fishing this rod. So I've had this rod now for a little over a month and a half and I've been fishing it a lot here in northwest Montana both on small streams and on large rivers and I've also taken it to a nearby reservoir or like the river just below the dam here which is a really wide enormous river and I've basically been casting this thing on everything. I even took it on a couple of small mountain lakes up here. So this rod has been put through its paces. I've tested it in a wide variety of different fishing scenarios from casting large streamers to delicate dry droppers. And I have to say that after fishing it extensively for the past six or seven weeks, I love this rod. Um, casting it is a dream. You can really fire the line out there and it generates a lot of line speed. It's a, it's a pretty fast action rod. And a lot of that, you know, the bend that means comes from very much at the tip of the rod and that means you can just really whip that line out there and you don't have to put much force in with your arm and it's going to be driving that line out further so i do like the way this thing casts and i love the way it feels so with that out of the way and how i've kind of been fishing it and my initial thoughts about the rod let's move into the individual components of the rod so we'll start down here at the very bottom of the rod at the butt section here in the reel seat. It really is a beautiful looking reel seat. On this five weight model, uh, snowbee has gone with the anodized silver aluminum reel seat and it has this beautiful maple burl insert that really adds to the rod and gives it a lot of character. And then as you move up, we'll go to the handle here. Um, as soon as I took this rod out of the box and I had a look at the cork, I mean, I looked at it and I thought the cork grip is not exactly perfect. There are some imperfections. And normally I wouldn't really mention it on a rod unless it was a really high priced rod. And because this rod comes in at the $550 mark, it's a bit steep and you might expect a bit higher quality cork from it. It's not taking away from the performance of the rod. And I think that overall the cork handle will last a long time. But with a rod above $500, a lot of people are gonna expect a flawless cork grip and this GXS doesn't really have that. They've molded the grip in a half wells kind of design and it's a little bit small if you have really huge hands. This grip might be a little bit small for you but in my hands you know I have average size hands for a guy who's six feet tall it feels really really um, really comfortable and it's just really ergonomic holding it in your hand. And next up we'll talk about this right here the blanks. So the blanks of the Snowbee Prestige GXS fly rod are phenomenal. They really do have a great recovery rate. The blank recovery rate is incredible on this rod. When you, you know, snap the rod forward on your power stroke forward cast, the rod just straightens right back out again to its original form and there's no wobbling and that keeps your accuracy, you know, dead on when you're on the river. And I really appreciate that about this rod. You can tell it's made from really high modulus, high quality graphite. In fact, Snowbee claims that they use kind of a space age material for all of their blanks with multi-modulus carbon fiber. Uh, and they claim that it's like the best performance fly rod that Snowbee has ever developed. And now having cast quite a few Snowbee rods, I have to say that I do think that this one probably casts the best, although all of my Snowbee rods cast very, very well. So I don't know if I can put this one above or below and I have them all in different weights. So I have a Diamond 2 and a Spectre RMX. All those rods, you know, seven weight, five weight, six weight, uh, this one's the five weight. They all they all cast really well, but this one does have kind of an exceptional feel to it. So I can see where Snowbee's kind of getting that from. So like I said earlier, when I was talking about casting this rod, um, the blanks make it a really fast action rod. So a lot of the bend is coming up at the tip of the rod, but that doesn't mean that you can't feel those sensitive those sensitive takes. Um, it means that you actually can feel them a lot better. So Snowbee developed this rod so that even if the fish just kind of lightly bites on the tip of the hook, you know, it's meant to set the hook really well with the tip. I didn't get a chance to test that. You know, I've, I probably caught 15 fish with this rod so far. Uh, I wasn't paying attention if it was lightly hooked and I could still feel the take. But what I will say is that no matter what, when you get a fish on, even if it's a delicate take, like they might not have, they might have really swallowed the hook, but they might not have taken off with it after they took your fly. With really delicate 
uh, takes and strikes, you can feel it at the tip of this rod, especially for a five weight. I mean, it feels really delicate in your hand. It's a finesse casting rod and it has that kind of easy strike indication. You can feel it vibrate through the tip of the rod all the way down into the handle. And I love that about this rod, which makes it pretty amazing when it comes in at the price point that it does. But we'll talk about that a little bit later in this review. And lastly, let's just talk about the guides on the rod. Um, these are beautifully done snake guides here. Snowbee calls them fast action, high lift snake guides for extreme distance casting. And they really do uh, help to fire the line out there. There's no, none of your lines gonna get caught up before it goes through these guides. So it's easy to shoot through all the guides, including the single foot snake guides further up on the rod. And in total, you have 10 guides on this rod. So the snake guide, two snake guides and eight single foot guides. And yeah, basically there's no line sag. And when you're casting this rod, you can really expect it to do everything you want it to do. It's gonna, it's gonna shoot the line out of there. And with these really high modulus blanks, like I said, it just helps in the overall power stroke getting your line out the end of the rod. So because this rod comes in so many different forms and weights, I'm gonna talk about a few different ones. I know I ended up with the five weight nine foot cause that's really what I wanted for the rivers up here. You know, it's the best all around weight for, uh, for fly fishing and coming up here to Montana, I didn't have any of my gear with me. So I ordered this and I went with the five weight nine foot but they do have quite a few other models. So I'm just gonna run through those quickly right now. So Snowbee has what they call the Prestige Ultralight Stream and Brook series. Uh, these rods come in a seven foot six inch uh, one weight and a seven foot two weight. They also have the Snowbee Prestige Euronymph series. So these versions of the GXS fly rod come in the nine foot six inch three weight, the 10 foot two weight, the 10 foot three weight, and the 11 foot three weight. They also have the Snowbee Prestige River and Small Stillwater series. These rods come in an eight foot four weight, a nine foot four weight, and a nine foot five weight. And lastly, they create the Snowbee Prestige Stillwater Reservoir and Lodge River series. Uh, these ones come in a nine foot six weight, and a nine foot six inch seven weight. So I hope that gives you a pretty good rundown of the rod. Obviously I can't speak about every different uh, weight and size of these rods, but we have actually reviewed another Snowbee Prestige GXS fly rod on this channel. And I'll link to that up here. You can go and check that out if you'd like. So moving on, let's talk about the price of this fly rod. So this isn't gonna be a cheap fly rod. I mean, it's not gonna cost you upwards of you know, $1,000, $1,200, like some major brand fly rods out there. But it's also not a super cheap fly rod that you'd expect to find from a budget brand on Amazon or something like that. That's not what this is. This is a, a high, high quality rod coming in at $550. And to me, to get this level of um, blank recovery rate and casting stroke accuracy and just the feel of this rod in your hand. And when you open it up, when you buy this rod, or you open it out of the package, uh, you're going to think, you know, you're gonna see that this rod feels and looks like it's made uh, a lot higher quality than the price point would suggest. And that's what I love about a lot of Snowbee products. Um, we reviewed a Snowbee fly fishing vest a little while ago, a fly vest backpack. I'll link to that up here as well. And it's another one of those products where you pull it out of the box and you just look at it and you think, wow, I really got a great deal on this. And Snowbee does a good job of that at this price point as well. This is their most expensive rod. They're, this is their premier series. But when you get it on the river or the lake or wherever you're gonna be fishing it, you can see why the price point's where it is. So $550 is not bad at all for a rod like this. So moving on, I wanna list a few cons about the Snowbee Spectre GXS five weight nine foot fly rod. We try to include cons in every single one of our videos. And with this one, I've already mentioned it before it's just that cork grip it's really not taking away from the performance like I said but it's something that some people might expect to have a little bit higher quality of when they pick up a rod for 550 bucks so next up I want to talk a little bit about how this GXS fly rod handles fighting fish so as I said I've been fishing with this thing for seven weeks I've caught quite a few fish on it a few of them in the 15 to 17 inch range you know so they weren't all small fish although I did catch a lot of small ones as well and this thing handles them beautifully. Uh, I was fishing near the reservoir on a massive river where the fish have a lot of current and a lot of torque as soon as they take the streamer. You know, I was fishing this with a sinking tip line. When they take that streamer, they really get to haul on it because you're in such strong current. And even with that, the base of this rod was really able to handle those fish. It's got a lot of backbone to it. So when you're reeling in fish, I'm sure this thing could reel in a really nice size fish and you wouldn't have any problem fighting fish with any size flies that you could cast out of the end of this rod so if you want a fly rod that's going to be able to handle all the fish in your backyard and all your favorite rivers and lakes this is basically the one if you want a five weight to do that put on size six to eight flies on this thing you could probably still cast them out there catch some big fish and it'll have no problem fighting them 
Uh, one more thing I want to talk about with this rod is casting accuracy. So how does it cast at different distances while you're on the river or on the lake? In my experience, um, this thing gives me a lot of accuracy. Uh, I'm not the best caster actually. I'm still practicing. I'm always learning. I've been casting a fly rod for 20 years, but I feel like I'm always learning. Uh, this fly rod, you know, at the short distances, you get a lot of accuracy. But what I liked about it was you could really spray the line out there, get it out 60 or 70 feet, and you're still going to, if you've got your thumb on the end of the cork grip and you know you're directing that cast to where you want it to go, that's where that's going to go. There's no wobble at the end of the rod that's going to lose your accuracy. Um, and with that really fast action, you know, sometimes you have to be just exactly perfect with your casting stroke when you get a rod this stiff and this fast action. But because it's got a little bit of forgiveness, if you don't have the exact timing down with your casting stroke, you can still hit your spots, even if they're out 50 or 60 feet. So I think it is Snowbee's probably most accurate rod on the market, and you can really feel that when you're casting it. All right, and to wrap up this review, I just want to talk, as always, about my personal thoughts and opinions about the Snowbee Prestige GXS 5 weight nine foot fly rod. So I said it already, I love this rod. It's one of my favorite casting rods that I have now and there's five rods down in my garage right now of varying prices and levels. A few of them are Snowby, um, some other brands as well, a bamboo rod down there. And I really do love the way this one casts. Um, from Snowby, uh, it's hard to say if this is my favorite casting rod I've tried yet. I've tried quite a few of theirs now. Um, I think between this one and the Spectre RMX fly rod, these two are just great rods, but I have the Spectre in the 10 foot seven weight and I have this one in the five weight nine foot. And I have to say that both of them cast just beautifully like you'd expect from any Snowbee fly rod. So $550 is a pretty expensive price for a five weight fly rod, but it's still not at the top end and you're getting a top end product for that price. So in my opinion, if you're looking for a new five weight and you have a bit of budget to spend, you're upgrading from your first rod when you spent hardly anything and you're probably not getting everything that you could out of a fly rod, this is a perfect upgrade for you. Spend a little bit more money on it and yeah, I think that this one is definitely worth it. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified next time we come out with a new video. We're still doing the fly fishing in Montana video series, the vlog series, so stay tuned for that. Make sure those notification bells are turned on and until next time, tight lines.